just Guys, wanted... sorry if this is gonna be Whoa. so OP. Let's take a look at some people who faked their Minecraft speedruns. Because trust me, it's pretty funny. This first runner spawns in a boat as it falls from the sky and into the center of a village. And the village chests are filled with loot that he clearly spawned in before the run. Totally unrealistic. But he actually also finds a totem of undying and a chest full of lava buckets. Oh, this guy is evil. But things start to get really weird when he chops down a tree and at the top of the trunk he finds a barrel full of ender pearls and a compass. He follows the compass all the way to a shipwreck that strangely has a water breathing potion, which he swiftly uses before diving into the ocean. The runner then digs down in a random spot and to his luck, digs right into an underground ruined portal. But before he enters the portal, he uses a randomly placed anvil to rename his axe to Luck. You'll see why soon. He heads into the nether where he spawns right next to a fortress and when he kills a blaze, it drops an insane amount of rods. Maybe something to do with this? Well, that's not it. He also kills a wither skeleton, who drops three wither skulls. We'll see what he does with those in a minute. But first, the runner returns to the overworld by jumping into lava? Well, he does respawn in the overworld with all of his items, but whatever. Let's move on to him locating the stronghold, which consists of him simply hopping on a minecart track that takes him right there. Once he's in the end, he spawns a wither and, well... This next runner starts by heading into a village house and... After getting his gains, the runner apparently needs to pick something up. At his house? Yeah, somehow he just has a house. And conveniently, it has some ender pearls for him to use. While he's exploring a cave, he just stumbles upon the stronghold. But he still needs blaze rods for the portal, right? Well, the spawner in the stronghold is spawning blazes instead of silverfish, which works out perfectly for him. Once he's in the end, though, there are just no pillars. Never seen that one before. This next speedrunner starts by spawning in a mine shaft. There is somehow a tree down here, so he chops that down and grabs some basic mine shaft loot. But things get even weirder when he finds a strip mine? Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But he actually finds diamonds at the end of it. <sighs> He also kills a zombie and it drops blaze rods, so, you know. He heads to the surface for the first time in the whole run and sort of just walks around for like 10 minutes. But things start to get strange again when he kills a random rabbit and it drops ender pearls. Nice. Next, he strangely turns off chat and then walks backwards a little bit, presumably onto a command block as he is suddenly teleported into the stronghold. We couldn't see the command block output though because of chat being off. He does the same thing again, but this time the command block gives him strength. He enters the end, but notice the ladder on this pillar. He uses it to get onto the pillar and break the crystal, and to get to the next one, he walks on air? He uses the same trick to get to all of the other crystals, but then he fails an MLG water bucket. All is good though, because when he respawns, he's in the credits? For the rest of the video, count how many fake things I point out that the runners do, and leave a comment down below with the final count. One lucky comment will win some cash. This next run has to be one of the funniest I've ever seen. This guy starts by stealing a villager's bed and then mercilessly punching him. Well, now he's on the run, but watch what happens when he chops down this tree. Well, now he's in the stronghold and has some ender pearls, but he still can't light the portal. I guess he quits? Wait. That is one long portal. He enters the nether and finds a bastion with a secret enchanting room. Oh, unimportant, I guess. Well, what's this? Oh. Now he has all he needs to enter the end, but when he returns to the overworld, he's in the middle of the desert. But check out what happens when he chops this random tree. There you go, I guess. This next run starts with the runner just strangely turning around out of nowhere and walking directly towards a horse with a saddle, something that he clearly spawned in before the run. He rides the horse in order to save some time and heads straight to a village where he finds chests with insane items. After the runner has killed a few animals, he opens up his inventory and the newly obtained meat is suddenly cooked. Once the speedrunner heads to the nether, he locates 
it's a fortress. But instead of killing blazes to get blaze rods, he just stumbles upon a random dispenser that's filled with, what do you know, blaze rods. And when he actually does kill a blaze, it instead just drops ender pearls. Nice. This next runner somehow spawns in the nether, which I guess actually works out because there's trees right next to it. He then finds a ruined portal that is full of very blatantly cheated in items and heads straight up to a nearby fortress where he grabs himself some blaze rods. But things start to get really weird when he goes into the overworld and spawns in the middle of a jungle where he stumbles upon a jungle temple. He sort of taunts the booby trap for a second until he actually gets hit by it and then he gets into a chest that has some pretty good loot. But what's crazy is the loot he gets from the chest hidden by the combination lock. He takes these ender pearls with him and starts to randomly climb a tree where at the top of it there's just a hole in the middle of the trunk and look at that an end portal at the bottom of it well unfortunately because of the fall distance he doesn't live to tell the tale the next runner starts by heading right into a village and the chests he finds don't actually seem suspicious something that's pretty rare in these fake speedruns he then stumbles upon a random hole in the ground and pulls something pretty crazy justin roll the clip What just happened? Head to the nether, grab blaze rods, grab ender pearls, and then find the stronghold. A actually, he didn't do that. He finds some random parkour thing in the middle of nowhere, and, uh... Okay, okay, but that's it, right? Nope. He enters the end and finds a bomb. Well, there goes the dragon, but it's not quite dead. Okay, well, there you go. Speed run over. This next run starts off with, oh no. A nearby village is also on fire, and the runner attempts to salvage some items from the houses, but he doesn't have much luck. Although, he finds another village right after, where he finds plenty of loot, most of which is pretty clearly cheated in. But things start to get really weird when he finds a ruined uh, portal? Well, he seems to think that's what it is. The nether fortress he finds strangely has a chest in place of a blaze spawner, conveniently full of well, but he doesn't even need Eyes of Ender. Here's why. <laughs> this next run starts off quite strange, with the runner heading into a random cave where he finds a book in a chest. The book has a ton of pages, starting with random letters, and then a poem? Oh wait, those are just yeah. Kanye lyrics. But what's this? Subscribe to Linus Studios? Okay, this is just me playing, but still. Subscribe! <laughs> 